Hey Friday Zone viewers, it's Emily here with Anne Murray. Today we are actually outside of the dentist's office and into the horse dentist's office. Now tell everyone what we're going to do today. We're going to be uh, floating Patty's teeth. Exactly. Dr. Ashley is here. She's currently setting up and Patty is about to get her teeth looked at, fixed, and filed down. Say cheese. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Ashley's setting up all of her tools and Patty's being patient. Normally when I go to the dentist, I'm not this quiet. <laughs> I get nervous. Now, has Patty actually had this happen before? Has she? I believe so. Um, like this summer, we got her from some friends mm -hmm. and I haven't been with her that long. So I don't know, but I think she has. So now, I know I go to the dentist about every six months. Is it important to keep Patty's teeth filed down every six months or is it a little bit lower than that? Um, about every year. Oh, okay. So every year, that's not bad. Can you show us your teeth? Ooh. <laughs> Smile. So Dr. Ashley, it looks like you're ready. Um, what is the first thing that we are going to do with Patty here? Um, typically, we're going to go ahead and just do a good oral exam before we get started, see what we're working with. Okay. Um, and then go from there. Just check and make sure that she's ready for her uh, floating yeah. and her filing down. All right. Yeah, so typically they don't really care for you to be doing all of this. I've, I've kind of grabbed her tongue, which maybe looks a little bit mean but it also gives a way for her to open up her mouth mm -hmm. um, and it's not mean or rude or crude or in any way shape or form um, but kind of gives us just a sneak peek and then in here in uh, just a few minutes we'll actually sedate her so there's a good shot of her what we call the incisors or their front teeth they use their incisors to cut grass now that you've taken this examination, you are going to sedate her, which helps you yes. and her stay safe during the yes. process of floating, right? Correct. So Correct. It's, it's, it's nothing mean, it's just a, a part of the process. I mean, I have to get shots too sometimes, so. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna sedate Miss Patty the pony. And we're gonna give her a couple minutes. It'll take a couple minutes for that to take effect. So Patty's head is hanging a little low, which means that the sedation that Dr. Ashley just gave her is starting to kick in. And um, after that, you have kind of a very clean looking solution. What is that um, used for? Um, it's a disinfecting solution. Basically just clean their mouth out really well. They've got a lot of hay and or grass and maybe some grains stuck in there. So we use it to clean their mouth out really well before we float their teeth. All clean. Um, so this is a mouse speculum. Um, it's kind of like putting a bit in the horse, if you will, only it's not even going in as far as what a bit would. It, we kind of open it up and it keeps their mouths open mm -hmm. so we can really take a good look at those back teeth or what we call cheek teeth. Cheek teeth. Yep. How many teeth do horses typically have? So they um, have deciduous or what we call baby teeth. Mm -hmm. And most of those will come in by the time they're nine months of age. Um, and then their baby teeth fall out just like in a human mm -hmm. and then permanent teeth come in. Um, then they're going to have somewhere between 40, 42 teeth. Okay. Another interesting fact that is different from humans versus horses and in, in that horses teeth continuously grow. Oh, That's why a lot of times we'll have to get in here and work on their teeth, especially if they're missing a tooth or something like that. Um, then the opposite tooth can actually continue to grow. So they'll grow anywhere, anywhere from two, three millimeters kind of each, each year, so. Um. <laughs> okay, Dr. Ashley, you are about to use kind of a tool that looks very similar to something we're, we're used to in the dentist's office. Um, what do you guys actually call this? Um, it's just a motorized um, dentistry tool. Um, and we do have different kinds of heads oh, yeah. that we can can use on the tool. Now what are these files, I guess, made out of? Yeah, this basically, um, yeah, they're basically made out of carbide. Um, you can get some made out of diamond as well. Now you guys actually don't put toothpaste on these, I assume, right? No, nope, <laughs> nope, all we use is the disinfecting solution um, that we uh, rinse the horse's mouth out with before, sometimes during, and definitely afterwards. Yeah, 
is so good. Right now you're feeling to see if the sharp points have been smoothed down, right? Right, yep, yep, because they can irritate the gum line. Okay. And you can see here on this horse, the gum lines are a little bit irritated, mm -hmm. kind of, kind of oh, right in there. That's basically from those sharp enamel points that have kind of irritated the gum line. Oh. So it's really red. Yeah. So thanks to you, hopefully, hopefully that won't happen again. So Dr. Ashley, you are all done. Can you give us a final assessment on uh, Patty's mouth now? Yeah, Patty um, obviously is still very sedated, but um, overall she's doing very well. So we basically just took off those sharp en enamel points. Mm -hmm. um, she did have some large hooks um, on, those, on those second premolar teeth. We definitely um, filed those down, basically make everything nice and even for, I think she's gonna be good to go for another year. Fantastic, so now in Ray. She has a thumbs up to uh, get in there and start training with Patty, I hear. Is that right? Yeah, That's right. All right. Well, you have heard it from the doctor herself. <laughs> Thanks so much, Dr. Ashley Thank and you. Ray. Best of luck when you're training season.